Hello gamers and welcome back to Let's Play Europa Universalis with the new DLC in this preview gameplay footage. Our corruption is growing, which means we need to root it out a bit better. It's currently zero and we don't have pr any corruption, so it should be good now. Okay, now it's gone. Okay, we need to add it a, add a little bit. Now then, there's lots to do this time. Call for peace. Well, we've done that already. We've made peace. Um, we can convert provinces. Obviously now quite a few more provinces can be converted. Ratibor is a province we owned previously, so we can convert it rather cheaply. But looking at our budget, we rather won't just yet. I've almost reached the admin power uh, limit, but we can make those Hungarian provinces core because we are over. We have quite some overextension, 40%, which increases corruption, mercenary cost, and so on. Also, our stability stability had dropped previously because of the death of our ruler. And I think you don't have audio on the... I don't know why that is. It should be audio recording. Let me quickly check. It should, should be okay, actually. But somehow... Okay, now. It's just a singing you can't really hear. Okay. Yeah, because I turned down the audio, the volume of the audio, I think, of the music. <clears throat> so we could go for the next military tech, which is quite tempting, to be honest. Costs are currently reduced. Let's go for it. Oh, how much are the embracement costs? 150. We have a cost penalty. Hmm. Colonialism, provincial trade modifier. Presence in Bohemia, none. Okay. It's quite a lot of stuff we need to do. We can make states as well. Over here. But some part is missing. Let's make it a state. What is our governing capacity? I need to know that before I can make any informed decisions. Government. Government reforms, diplomacy. I don't really know where I can see my government capacity. No, can't find it right now, but I'm pretty sure we are good to go and get some more territories. We have more income than maintenance now, which is obviously quite nice. Then we need to make cores. Let's make cores everywhere. We can build lots of stuff. And we can go for a new idea. Grand back banquets. 400 diplo power. Brings us closer to if elective monarchy. One more diplomat can't hurt. And I'm actually thinking that France might be a natural ally against Austria. Because it's them who said, okay, you are our rival. 
So let's maybe improve our relations with France. Obviously now no one really likes us, unfortunately. We have one free diplomat. Where could we send him? We have a... we have... Um, What? Rogues in Brandenburg? Okay. We really need to deal with the Brandenburg uh, threat as well. So maybe let's start with a spy network over here. They want military access. They're also at war with Hungary, so let's say yes. New mercenaries available. And then we've got a royal marriage proposal from... Saxony is still acceptable, I guess. Let's see if we can invest a little bit in development. Maybe some more tax would do us no harm. 0 0.12 in here. Zero point zero nine. It's all not so great. In Prague, obviously, we can still get some. Let's go for it. Okay, I wish I could execute them. Okay, we've got bad reputation. That sucks. And let's also check out our income now. It's 2.96. I'd like to have more income to do something with the army or do more with the army. Is there... Okay, uh, Royal Marriage has ended. Is there a good place for a market place? Not really, even here. This is all minimal. All but Prague is like... It's just not worth it, I think. What's that? Free slots, cost, improvement value. So in Vratislav it wouldn't be too bad. Where's this Vratislav? If I click on it, am I going to build? Plus 3.1. Where's that Vratislav? Can't find it. Is it somewhere down here? I don't know. It doesn't look too tempting anyway. Uh, another look at buildings, maybe maybe a church. 0 0.13 is an okay value. 0 0.16 even here. Let's build one here. Olomuk, we've got lots of three building slots as well, so let's put one here. That should help. Let's accept the royal marriage for now. I think they pulled the strings here and got that territory back. Encroachment of the nobility in Brno. Let it slide, gain local autonomy or demand that the land be returned. Eight noble regiments revolt or they lose got enough troops. Let's, let's demand the land to be refused to get away with expanding their properties in Brno considerably. Well, we must protect the property of the state, to be honest. Okay, no army. Disloyal estates now. That's obviously very bad. But it's ticking upwards, which is good. Is there anything we can do here? Well, that would cost us army tradition. But the decay would be reduced and the general cost would be redu reduced as well. Increased levies. No. Military advisor costs. Stability cost. 
Should I be able... Should I... Do I want to lose so much army tradition? Uh, what's our army tradition at the moment? It's 39 and it's only going down by 0 0.21. No, I'm not going to change that. I think... Monthly military power. The nobility loyalty will change. We will lose crown land. No, thank you. Aristocratic counselors. They will get influence and the max absolutism will be reduced. Let's not do that. Right of council also reduces that. I think we can wait that out. Monopoly on livestock. Yeah, I'm not sure if I like the new estate stuff. I liked when I could give them individual land and it wasn't an abstract figure. <clears throat> I enjoyed that micromanaging. Like give the church, I think, newly conquered land because it would reduce it would reduce the unrest. Yeah, let's send you to Ratibor. We've got enough coins. Anald has accepted an army from, from Leipzig. Who else is wanting to get some condottieri? Saxe Lauer Magdeburg. And we're fighting Anhalt and Brandenburg. Um, how can I offer them to you again? Economy actions? No. Influence actions? No. Offer Conatieri. We have no diplomats to send, that's the problem. We're still building up the spy network in Munich. They've got more allies now. They've got quite a few as well. What about Hesse? They've only got Brandenburg. Brandenburg obviously would be a great target for conquest. Grand Ball in Prague. Yeah, let's arrange a ball and gain some prestige. I like that. So we're improving relations in Poland, but we will go at war with Poland eventually, because I want my territory back. Do I have a claim on them, actually? I'm, I possibly have. I should have, at least. Confederacy of Selena Hora. Cornelia's refusal of the church demands to suppress the Hussite faith has made the papal faction in Bohemia grow embittered. They view him as a heretic and enemy of both them and the church. On a meeting in Selena Hora on 16th July 1490, they have declared Cornelia unfit. Together with like-minded nobles in Silesia, they have begun embarked on an open revolt. Now this is bad. We've got a revolt at our hands. Luckily one is just about here. We need to crush them. I actually didn't see it coming. Hostile sieges. Okay, we've won that one. Less land attrition, that's good. And let's actually get one cannon can I? Ah, oh, I can't. I haven't embraced that yet. Uh, I think I should potentially. It's a good moment, right? Because they've only got, they don't have cannons. How about embracing 
the institution, where is it again? Institution, institution. We can not make any decisions here. Okay, where again is the institution? Down here for sure. It's present in lots of... Let's go for the institution map mode actually. Is it economic? Yes. We've got it everywhere, right? So we just need to embrace it. But where? It's ideas, technology, strengthen government. We've got some non accepted cultures which we possibly should promote. But we also have a limited amount of accepted cultures we can have, I think. So. Stability and expansion. Ah, there's our governing capacity, good. But where is... Missions, ideas, technology here, institutions. We can't embrace this because we are lacking the funds, obviously. I think we've got a minus 10 here, so we will actually go for it now. And get, uh, get a cannon before we... Okay, I don't have enough men. What's the territory like here? Well, if they actually succeed, it might be very problematic. So let's try to attack them. Am I building anything here? I hope not. Yes, I am. Okay, they were successful. But the building is still ongoing. We should be able to defeat them, I think. Okay, they have a very decent general, apparently. 2-1 at least. We've got 1-3. We've got more troops. We've got... we can flank them, as you can see here. Yeah, that should be no problem. But now we've got the problem here with the unrest. Okay, that's been dealt with. Let's reoccupy it. Improvements in land, land technology. So, well, let's get some inf well, inflation, getting down inflation. Sometimes there are events and our inflation is quite low. Let's get the military power. <clears throat> Over here, I think we m could consider autonomy. There's a lot because of the rebellion, I guess. Why do they have such a high autonomy? Okay, 0% autonomy. And then 97% autonomy. So did I increase it to 100% by just clicking it once? Are you kidding me? Well, it's going down slowly, but steadily. It's okay. Over here. It's also 90% autonomy currently. But that's, I guess, also because of the... Not only the recent occupation. Okay, Hungary is in trouble because Austria is demanding parts of it. Who is actually fighting with them? Are they fighting on the side of France? I guess so. Hungary and Croatia only. Why are they at war with... Attack against Hungary. The Holy Roman Reclamation of Brünn. England. Yeah, you can pass. Where's this Brünn? I don't know. <sighs> hmm. 
Now, my aim basically now is to reconsolidate, get my manpower back up. Maybe invest a bit in manpower. The Protestant Reformation. Hussite traditions. Hussite traditions are still remembered amongst the people of Bohemia. Now that the thesis of Luther has been widely known, more and more important people are openly declaring themselves to be Protestant rather than Hussite. We must decide whether to retain a distinct Hussite identity or join the wider Protestant Reformation. If we shall retain our distinct Hussite faith or we go for Protestant. We stay Hussite. Yeah, because that's like the point of playing Bohemia now for me is uh, to stay Hussite actually. Just, you know, from uh, getting to know the Hussite faith, faith perspective. For how much longer do we have a truce here? 1503. Okay, 15 years in total. Now they are in a pickle here, Brandenburg. Only got 12k troops left. Do I have anyone working here? Yes, I do. I think that um, Berlin would be a very nice city in the Bohemian Empire. Oh, Age of Discovery is ending in 117 months. That's new to me, but we don't have the DLC, so there's nothing we can do about it. Anyway. Um, we could invest in benign diplomats, improve relations plus 25%, which would also give us a yearly legitimacy increase. Currently it's going down by minus one, it will be zero, so let's do it for sure. There we go. And then we need to consolidate a little bit more, we've got like not even 12k troops, no manpower whatsoever. But it's looking okay. It's looking okay. Let's take a look at the great powers. Bohemia is <laughs> nowhere. So we're not in the top eight, obviously, yet. Austria is neither. That's good for us. Poland, unfortunately, is. It will be a hard nut to crack. 28k soldiers. I can't do it without help. Alright then, thanks a lot for watching, until then, bye for now.